Hey, NJRoot22.com here with another supermarket, well, general flyer roundup for uh, the weekend after Labor Day weekend. Um, we're gonna go real quick here. If you have a job, job lot near you, you should become an insider because they often have these deals where you buy something, like I bought some like rubber gloves um, the other day and they gave you the equal amount of money in a free gift card. It's like getting them for free. They often have very useful things, so but not all of it's high quality. Next, undo, unclaimed freight, a big scam. We don't like we don't like this this uh, racket. Somerville Home Center, not going to go into it, but they, they apparently have. It looks like a pretty good deal on some Dewalt things. You should check out to see what Home Depot sells them for. One fifty nine a piece, not bad. They're battery operated though. Uh, battery operated blowers aren't good as good as the uh, gas ones. And also here we have uh, IGA Bishops of, um, of uh, White House and also uh, Pennington Market down south of 22. Again, we shop there because they're local and it's just interesting and convenient. They have a deal this week for uh, ground beef for four bucks a pound, but I just wanted to point out that Wegmans has their family pack for $2.49 a pound, 80%, and Aldi has a uh, five pound log of meat, 73% uh, lean for $1.79 a pound. I mean, I had it the other day, five pounds of ground beef in like four days. And they were, uh, it was okay. It was an interesting texture. Uh, I wouldn't say it's bad, but I think it's a pretty good uh, deal. It's $8.99 for five pounds of uh, meat. It's great for uh, feeding a family. If you're making a meat sauce, no one will ever know the difference. Burgers, you can tell the difference. So that's that for Bishop's. King's actually has an interesting um, point. The apples now are finally gonna be fresh. They weren't sitting in cold storage for six months. So the apples coming out now are uh, of this season. But I recommend highly that you find a local farm stand somewhere. There, there are plenty across New Jersey. We found one south of here uh, in, I think it was north of Delaware or south of Delaware, New Jersey. Um, uh, Bodine Farms, I think it was called. They had delicious, uh, fresh, non-GMO uh, produce uh, for uh, for very, very cheap, cheaper than you'd pay it at a supermarket. And it was it was a local business. I'll, I'll be doing a story about them eventually. For those that like Perrier, they got five big bottles for five bucks. That's uh, pretty much better than even Shoprite uh, get uh, gets them on sale. It's usually four for five. So if you like that stuff. And here's something I'm, I'm interested in, is this Rise Black Nitro Cold Brew Coffee. They're seven ounce little coffees for, a, they might be handy to keep keep some uh, on hand uh, just in case you need a jolt and you don't feel like dealing with it. So let's talk about ShopRite here. ShopRite has some interesting deals this month. It seems like some prices are coming down. Uh, I'm not talking about any of this meat today, but here's one good little deal here. It's a super coupon. Five bucks off your uh, fifty dollar purchase, which is uh, ten percent off. So, I, provided you get it right around fifty dollars, and you could pick up a couple of these. And if, let's say you have to buy two hundred dollars worth of food, just do do it in four separate trips. I mean, I don't know if that'll be uh, the ROI on gas, depending on how far you live. But and they also have a uh, Shoprite butter with this coupon, which a dollar ninety seven for a pound of butter is incredibly cheap. However, it does not have sea salt in it, which to us, uh, we're starting to buy uh, this Kate's butter. It's uh, just sea salt, because regular salt is just not good for you. It really is not. Um, and the lowest price I've ever seen, the ShopRite brand cheeses, which we think are good, buck 49 a uh, pack, but a limit of four. So uh, just buy your four favorite cheeses or four of your favorite cheese and you should be okay. And have Viva, we like the Viva towels. I'm not sure what the cost per square foot is, but uh, I'll do the math and, and, and decide whether it's worth buying. What else do they have good this week? I didn't see anything notable on the, the uh, what do you call it? Uh, the, uh, the meats, uh, my burgers, and, and there's no real good deal on ground meat. But they have, you know, the Hatfield bacon, which they don't have a sea salt version, but it's a good substitute if you didn't if you didn't pick up uh, last week's Hormel uh, 
I, I recommended the Hormel lower sodium bacon because it has sea salt instead of regular salt and you can add your own sea salt to make it salty if you want. What else do we have? I'm not sure I like this brand but this Cooked Perfect Meatballs. Uh, Good to have in the freezer for when you're in a pinch, if, or if you have kids and you just need some to give them something quick and you're, you're not ready with the other good food. It's not bad to have one or two bags on hand, in our opinion. We don't talk about mainstream products really too much. Uh, do I did this quick today. Now here's something interesting. They make it very affordable. You get a, a thing of peanut butter, a thing of jelly, and you get a free loaf of bread. So it's about three, a little over three fifty. You get uh, you get peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. You can buy four of them. So for like fourteen bucks, you can get uh, four loaves of bread and four peanut butters and four jellies. It's really not a good sandwich. You, and you shouldn't be eating white bread and jelly. I mean, that, that, those are carb machines. And I think uh, your kids uh, will be. In, uh, you know, not thankful when they get older and they realize that you poisoned them uh, and killed their blood sugar when they were young. Try not to do that. You should look into it. You really should look into it. I recommend the book Sugar Blues. Sugar Blues uh, will change your mind on sugar. And I think that's it for this week. I, I kind of blasted through all these flyers in a matter of six minutes. If I have anything else groundbreaking, but it seems like some of the prices are coming down, which is nice, and it's apple season, which is uh, good, but shop local for the apples if you can. Have a good week.